Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be upgrading my Dale Alienware R7 Aurora from 16 gigs to 32 gigs by simply adding two by eight gigs of RAM. We'll also look into whether this upgrade is worth it in terms of 4K video editing, games, and just general multitasking. I would also like to confirm whether you can actually have four sticks of eight gigs of RAM in the motherboard while still maintaining 2,666 megahertz speeds, which is the uh, stock OEM speed. One thing that's really important for me is finding the correct RAM that is compatible with the existing RAM. The existing RAM or the stock OEM RAM is made by Micron and I couldn't find anywhere to buy that specific model. And if I went to Dell, it would cost a lot of money. And basically they were not helping me find um, a third party OEM RAM. I looked on the forums and Reddit and I did find that Micron is a parent company and it provides its sticks to other companies such as Crucial. So the sticks that I have right now are actually uh, Crucial and it says Crucial by Micron. So I'm really hoping that these are completely compatible with the existing RAM sticks in my motherboard. There's a lot of controversy uh, using the different types of RAM. Apparently four by eight sticks of RAM it, uh, is not, does not allow your motherboard to boot up. Um, uh, another YouTube creator uh, by the name of Will Creatives, which has inspired me to make this video, uh, tried upgrading his current RAM, but it, what ended up happening is that it downclocked the speeds from 2,666 megahertz to around 2,400. So I really hope I can avoid these issues uh, with this current RAM stick. All right, enough chit chat. Let's begin installing these RAM sticks and finding out whether it works or not. All right, so let's begin. Um, I would like to just kind of use this opportunity to dust off any dust here, this blower here. Make sure you ground yourself in case you don't want to put any electrosthetic uh, shock to any of your components that are delicate. So I would just touch a piece of metal that's grounded, um, something like that. This is sketchy. See, here's the sticks of memory. We just got to put them in here. Take off. I'm going to take off my socks too, just in case. Okay, so it's going in. And just snaps right in. Okay, so we got one more to do. Put it right in. Make sure you line it. Put some pressure. And it clicks in. Cool. All right, so we're just going to close this up and we're pretty much done. And hopefully this actually works out. And I hope that I was recording the whole time. Okay, so as you can see here, the amount of system memory has changed. If you do not change your memory to resolve this, issue, try to reseek the memory. So I think that's a good sign so far. It hasn't crashed and it's booted up. Fingers crossed, guys. I hope this really is pretty stressful. I hope it works out. All right, so we're gonna open the task manager and we're gonna check the memory and woohoo, it is 32 gigs of memory. And right now we see the speed and it's 2,666 megahertz, which is fantastic. So it hasn't down clocked and I am very, very happy. Okay, let's go into the BIOS. Okay, so now we're in the BIOS. As you can see, we're on the latest version, um, which is 1.017. And this is the Alien Aurora R7. And please note that I have an i7-8700K. So you have the non-K version that isn't overclocked. It may or may not work, I, your mileage may vary. We have 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory at the memory speed of 2,666 megahertz, which is really, really a relief and thank goodness. So XMP memory is disabled, overclocking feature is disabled. So yeah, I mean, nothing here is enabled and nothing fancy, so it, it's, it's maintaining these speeds. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just rendering some footage here and I'm well beyond the 16 gigs. So before um, I only had 16 gigs, um, it, would, it would never max out. So I guess the OS knows that you have more RAM and thus it allocates more usage of uh, memory to this application. So things are going a bit faster, uh, less crashing, and I'm really happy with the results. Uh, it's using well beyond 16 gigs, so it's definitely utilizing the um, extra memory, which has been pretty helpful. And I, I also noticed that just in general, when I'm loading the project and it has to load a bunch of thumbnails, or as I am seeking through my project through 4K footage, it is you know, allocating more memory. So I can only imagine that's helping with the stability of this application, Adobe Premiere. So I'm really, really happy about the results here. And I definitely think it was worth the mere $150 given what I'm getting out of this. I think it's crucial that you get the same memory stick. So the two by eight and the other two by eight, the two pairs of memory sticks, they should match. So thank God this, this one does match and everything is working, seems to be working fine. 
this is crucial by Micron. The OEMs were also uh, made by Micron. You can actually download a CPU ZID, which will actually give you the memory uh, model and the brand. So perhaps your Dell computer or Alienware computer was made by a different manufacturer in terms of its RAM, um, then maybe you can find something that's compatible. So I might have spoke too soon. When I go to CPU Z and I click on SPD, I notice that the Crucial and the Micron have different types of uh, uh, values in for terms of the frequency, cast latency, uh, RAS to cast. I I'm not sure what these all mean. They're, they seem pretty complicated, but I do see that the max bandwidth is 266, uh, 2,666. So if you know anything about these like technical terms, and whether I'm actually actually screwed myself over by buying the wrong incompatible inc RAM, please let me know in the comments. I'm very curious what your input is about this reading between the two um, me memory slots. Now, hopefully, maybe everything's okay, and I'm actually getting the correct speeds, and nothing really has neg been negatively impacted. So, um, please let me know what you think about this. I'm a little concerned, but so far everything seems pretty good, and I'm seen a lot of a performance boost uh, just editing in general or like switching between multitasking and having many many chrome browsers open and stuff like that so i'm really loving the extra ram i wish the only regret i have right now is i wish i upgraded earlier anyways thanks for watching if you really like this video please give a like it's been a lot of work to make it i really appreciate your input let me know what you guys think and if you were able to upgrade your memory on your alienware r7 see ya